Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we talk about why create a measure for a simple thing as sum. Before explaining this, let me talk about the layout that I have in my Barbie desktop screen. I have the year slicer and I have the month table and both of them have been taken from the date master. Now, let me bring in the gross sales amount, which is a field value directly into the table. And I can see the monthly sales by every year. Now, let me take any one of the field and right click so that I can go to new measure. And let me give the name of the measure as total sales. I'm going to write a sum function and include the gross sales amount as the parameter underneath it. I press enter. Now I'm going to put total sales in the table so that I can compare the numbers, the numbers that came from gross sales amount and the total sales. Apparently both these numbers are looking the same, right? However, there's a difference. This is an existing field. It's an implicit measure. Now this is an explicit measure, which has been defined by the function DAX. Now the question arises, why do I need this separate total sales? Well, as we go ahead and start applying calculate function, you will realize that you need a DAX function to initiate. For example, I right click and I go to new measure. Let's say this is a dummy measure and I wish to write a function called calculate, which will be discussing separately in a different video. The first thing it asks me is expression and I cannot write gross sales directly. No, what I can do is I can write total sales which is a measure that I just recently created. So one of the many reasons why would you like to write sum despite gross sales giving you the same result is to make sure that you have an expression, you have a measure which can be reused in a different function later. Next, if you feel later point in time, there's a change in calculation, you would simply go back to total sales measure and change the calculation there. And all the subsequent measure which are using this as a parameter underneath them, they will get automatically changed. So more of this in the next few videos, the use cases of some function and why do we need to create a measure using sum instead of just simply using gross sales.